We all remember the day the humans came. In the longest days of the year, the rain stops and the fires come. See, Ild3 is special in that it combines a high oxygen concentration with high land area, with most planets that reach 15% or higher being primarily covered by water, housing the algae that produce the gas. Ild3 augments this with a high growth rate, land flora, with trees reaching 30 meters by the time summer comes around, at which point the fires come. Normally, the fires come sporadically, with time to evacuate people from the burning areas into safe ones. Not that year. Not the year the humans came. A combination of rare meteorological events led to multiple large fires starting at the same time. Forecasts show that in two weeks, practically the whole planet would be either burning or covered in smoke. We had no choice. We had to evacuate. And so we requested help from the assembly for supplies and help to house our people until the fires burned down. And amongst those who helped, the humans came. At first they came as everyone else who did, with shuttles and transport craft. The human organizer asked me about our efforts to slow or put out the fire, but I explained to him that this was a futile endeavor in an atmosphere of 27% oxygen. The fire simply burned to hot and fast. That he even asked should have put me off. Four days later, new human shuttles arrived, and to the terror of everyone that didn't land at the evacuation zones, instead they flew over in the direction of the fires and dropped crates on parachutes. They completely missed the mark of any supply drop zone in the area, but the human organiser, who I was next to by chance, didn't seem worried at all. When I asked him what was going on, he answered, the supplies landed exactly where we wanted. They are for the... The shuttles took another pass. This time, humans jumped out, aiming for the drop supplies. Smoke jumpers.